Hello Booktube, I'm here uh, with a TBR for The Great Pirate Project. And The Great Pirate Project is an ongoing, or it'll be most of this year, I think, uh, and created by Mark Richardson at Richardson Reads. And it's to read uh, pirate nonfiction. Um, and that can be anywhere from ancient pirates to modern pirates, anywhere in the world. And uh, I am one of the co-hosts, along with uh, Brandy at the Book Eclectic, uh, uh, with Mark at Book Time with Elvis, and Steve Donahue. Now uh, I'm I'm a bit late getting into some reading of this uh, because uh, uh, this the first week is well sort of a short week of 2000, uh, two, 2023. But uh, I'll be starting next week. And first of all, I want to apologize for the lighting. Um, my um, lamp is broken uh, right there. So it's it's just and it's going to show a column of light. Like it's kind of weird because it keeps f fading in and out. So I got uh, a uh, column of light behind me, whatever that means. Uh, but I, I don't have too, a whole lot of uh, pirate books. I used to, I used to have quite a few a long time ago, but um, I, I was uh, thankful for Christmas. I was uh, gifted uh, this first one, and that is um, the general history of the pirates by Daniel Defoe, edited by Manuel uh, Schoenhorn. Schoenhorn, and it's a Dover, it's a Dover uh, publication. And it's part of their uh, Dover Maritime books. Uh, it's quite a hefty one. It's over 700 pages. It will be something that I'll be reading sort of throughout uh, uh, the months ahead. And it says, edited with a new postscript by Manuel uh, Seanhorn. And Dover Publications, as I say, um, looks like originally 1972 and then 1999 again. Um, it says, yeah, well, it says this Dover edition was first published in 1999 is a lightly corrected, updated republication of the work originally posted in 1972 by J. Dent, J. M. Dent and Sons. Uh, and, uh, I'm just trying to see if I've got an original date for it, uh, sometime, um, probably early 1700s. Um, and it just goes through literally uh, what it says. Let's just read the back here. Uh, famed for his enduring fictional masterpieces, Robinson Crusoe and Maul Fanders, Daniel Defoe also possessed considerable expertise in maritime affairs. As a commission uh, merchant, importer, ship owner, and an active journalist who reported ship news and interviewed surviving pirates, Defoe achieved a high degree of authority on the subject of buccaneers. His knowledge was such that his book, The General History of the Pirates, remains the major source for information about piracy in the first quarter of the 18th century. Reprinted here in its entirety, this fascinating history abounds in tales of flamboyant outlaws and their bloody deeds. Captain Edward Teach, alias Blackbeard, Captain William Kidd, whose trial and execution created a sensation throughout London and the world. Bartholomew Roberts, one of the most successful pirates of the era, also whose crew captured an estimated 400 prizes in, their th in three years. Mary Reed and Anne Bonney, who disguised themselves as men to sail under the Jolly Roger with the ill-fated Captain John Rackham, and many more. So that's this big one. Um, I won't be starting that immediately, but I have a couple more, and they're they're both Dover publications as well, part of the Maritime uh, series. And this one is Infamous Pirates, Their Lives and Bloody Experts, Exploits, uh, edited by Ezra Stroud. Stroud. Strong, sorry, Ezra Strong. I thought that was wrong. Uh, and this was... Uh, published in 2007, an abridgment is an abridgment and republication of the original 
uh, work published in 1855. So it's an abridgment. I wasn't aware of that, but oh well. Uh, and it says, despite uh, his relative conventional background, wealthy family, excellent education, Captain Mission of Province, Provence uh, went to sea at age 16 and then following his utopian vision uh, became one of the forebearers of the French Revolution, a legendary figure in the annals of piracy. His story has captured the uh, in uh, imaginations of writers as diverse as Daniel Defoe and William S. Burroughs, Lord Byron was said to have written of him. Uh, he was the uh, mildest mannered man that ever scuttled a ship or cut a throat. Uh, so yeah, so there's that one. Uh, it's hard to see with this light behind me. Uh, but the one I will be starting to read next week, uh, because it's in small little snippets, is Pirates, True Tales of Notorious Buccaneers by Henry Gilbert. Again, part of the Dover Maritime Books. And this was published in 2008 and is an unabridged reproduction of the work originally published as The Book of Pirates by George G. Hirop and Company in 1916. And this is the practice of piracy dates back thousands of years. This riveting chronicle provides a glimpse into the vivid history of sea thieves from ancient Greek, Roman, and Norse brigands to the pirates of the Golden Age, the infamous 17th century buccaneers of the Caribbean's uh, Spanish Maine. Delve into the true adventures of notorious uh, sea dogs whose stories are as compelling as any legend. Meet the dastardly band of pirates who once captured Julius Caesar, the powerful Viking plunders of the Saxon shores, and such well-known scallywags as Captain Kidd, Henry Morgan, Blackbeard, and Barbarossa. A rich gallery of historical figures and fascinating real-life tales, this saga of the Seven Seas will captivate armchair sailors, adventure enthusiasts, and historians alike. So, um, and this will actually, um, there will be a little uh, early stuff. It says the pirates who captured Caesar is, is his first chapter. And then pirates of the Saxon shore. Um, at least those, those will actually fit in with Historathon as well. Um, so I, I'll, I'll be double dipping uh, for the great pirate project and Historathon for the first couple chapters. So that's it. Um, and if you're joining in uh, with uh, the Great Pirate Project, let me know what you're reading. Uh, I will probably, throughout the course of the year, once I get these done, I will see if I can get some other uh, pirate books. And I think I will try to stick with the pirate books that are published by Dover. Just because I have three. So therefore, uh, we'll see what else I can get. Uh, thank you very much, BookTube. I'll see you next time.